Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about this term that I just heard of. I've never heard this term before. This term, or you may call it phrase, slang or societal moniker. And I saw it on Ose Duke Jackson's community top. And it had the picture with the lady with the black owned, the one with the black owned and the, the barcode. And it's QOS. I didn't know what that meant. So, of course, I went in the comments because somebody's going to say what it means and came to find out it means Queen of Spades. It's like Queen of Spades, Queen of Spades. And from the, from the comments, I kind of figured out it has something to do with, you know, white women and black men. So, anyway. I went to Urban Dictionary. We're going to look into Urban Dictionary's definition. So let's look at the definition of the Queen of Spades. According to the Urban Dictionary, the Queen of Spades, the playing cards symbol, usually with a Q above or inside, it connotes white women with a sexual preference for black men. It can be seen on t-shirts or even as a tattoo. Also a way for a white woman to let potential black lovers know she is available. So this is according to Urban Dictionary. So that was Urban Dictionary's definition of the Queen of Spades. Basically a white woman who is sexually attracted to black men. And as I said when I went in the comments, many many men were so proud of that that they were being fetishized by a particular group of women but some men did point out if you are proud of that you're happy because of this that means you have low self-esteem and many men have low self-esteem because they were not affirmed they were not praised because Especially as mothers, we need to take note. Many times we affirm our, our sons because they are very, very handsome. They're very, very handsome. Or they have a great athletic ability or they are very, very smart. But besides that, most of the time, we don't even have a relationship with some of our sons. And we don't affirm them. The fathers too. Sometimes the fathers don't have anything to do with their sons. They may be more into the daughters or the father's not even there. So now we have a generation of unaffirmed men and anything, whether it is good, positive, negative, that they could get attention from, that they could get praise from, that they can feel appreciated. It's because you, they don't feel appreciated. That's why you would find something like this, um, a good thing because this group of people um signaling you basically because they have a tattoo they have a shirt signaling you letting you know hey i like you hey i'm interested in you hey i want to get down with you but you don't know where it's coming from some group of these women were raised in families that had a disdain for a particular group of people particularly black people and they may have not seen it in that sense. They, maybe they had parents or grandparents that, um, you know, had that type of thinking. But they don't see it that way. They don't think they are better because they have um, a particular color. But instead of saying, hey, this is wrong. When I have my children, I'm going to raise them another way. I'm going to raise them to know that, hey, you are not bet better because you have a particular skin color. But what some, some people do, they're going to, mm, I'm going to stick it to your face. I'm going to, that's all I'm going to date is what you don't like. So now you pulling up with this woman and you're the only one that, that don't know that you don't, they don't like your, your kind. You know, sometimes these um, connections are genuine, of course. 
but most of when they are genuine, the person doesn't label themselves as a queen of state. They know they are a wife to this black man. They are a girlfriend to this black man. That's what they know. And most of the time it comes from, because they probably had a friend that dated this guy, this black guy. Say, girl, this is this. This is what went down. This is how it is. And then now, oh, I want to try it out. But not saying that, hey, they are genuinely interested in that person. And then sometimes when we do get in a relationship like this, and then kids get involved and then it was not a really a genuine attraction you just got together because hey this this, i'm feeling appreciated and valued by this woman so i'm gonna stick with her hey he knows how to do it better than all the other previous guys that i have and then you guys hook up and then kids get in the mix and then you bring kids in the middle of this thing. And then these children and a, a lot of the children that are born in this type of relationships, and we have to be real about it. They don't really, they don't, they don't, they don't know whether they belong. They don't feel, they don't feel like they're white. They don't feel black enough. And if you as a parent don't focus on the identity of your child, they are lost. They're basically lost just as you are lost because if you find this something to be proud of, you have no identity because you are not only an object. You are more than that. You just were not affirmed to know who you were. You were not affirmed enough because your father wasn't there or he wasn't in, in, involved in your life. <clears throat> you were not um, valued and appreciated and praised Cause that's what keeps us going. You know, it's because sometimes we just, we get tired. We get discouraged as men get tired and discouraged because they are not valued. They're not encouraged. They are not appreciated. So when they see this group of women appreciated, appreciate them, even though it's for what's down there, they'll take it because they don't, they have never gotten that before or they didn't get it enough. So that they can grow into healthy men. And mothers, what you can do if you have sons or you have a son, give him the praise when he does things around the house, when he does things for his um, grandmother or grandfather or for his little sisters or big sister, not because he got... Or he always getting A's and B's or he does great. He, he did a touchdown. Yes, those things are good. But besides the other things, when he, when he helps, when he opens the door for, uh, uh, um, people, a lot of you, a lot of boys don't do this. Trust me. They will close the door on you. Some of them, I'm telling you when he opens, Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Such a nice young man. You open the door for, um, uh, for this young lady, you open the door for me, you open the door for grandma, you know, things that make up their character, affirm them, because that cannot be taken away from them, their looks, God forbid something can happen um, to their looks, God forbid something can happen that can cause them not to be able to play sports uh, anymore, Sometimes there's, uh, um, I remember this guy who was a very intelligent, uh, a man. He started to lose his memory, started to lose his memory, even though he was so intelligent, even your intelligence could be affected, but your character that cannot be touched the majority of time, only unless you get, you know, you let people get to you and then you change, but whatever. But besides that, affirm them besides the looks and, the uh, abilities they may have and sometimes the mother didn't do that job you as a wife you as a girlfriend you encourage your boyfriend you you affirm him you appreciate him so when things like this happen when things you know things like this start going around start going viral those things don't phase him because he's secure i don't need to be that because somebody fetishizes me that doesn't that doesn't give me an ego stroke 
because I know I where I am. I'm appreciated. I'm appreciated by my mother. I'm appreciated by my wife. Or I'm appreciated by my, by my girlfriend. I'm appreciated by my sisters. Women that have um, girls and boys. You make each, each of them respect each other. You know? But that's a, that's a whole other video. But anyway. If you are proud and you feel happy, that give you an ego stroke because you are being fetishized. That's a, that's a spell, clear signal you have low self-esteem. Clear signal you were not shown appreciation that you should have been shown. And you're going to have to deal with that. Because a, low, a man with low self-esteem, a low man with, who's insecure, that's a dangerous man. Yes, you are. So thank you for watching. That's all I had to say on this topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.